All right, I've got a quick one here then about um, drugs and synapses, particularly something called um, Prozac and ecstasy. Now, what we've got here then is a, a synapse, the gap between two neurons. So this would be um, a nerve impulse coming along this direction into this, uh, the end of this neuron. In here, we've got these little bubbles called vesicles, and they're full of um, little dots, our neurotransmitter. This is just a chemical that will carry the message across the synapse for us. This particular neurotransmitter we're interested in here is called serotonin. Um, it's found, well, it's, it is found in the brain, it's found in other places in your body as well, but um, we're interested in its effects in the brain. Now, interestingly, this is um, associated with the condition of depression. Um, we're not here talking about someone just feeling a bit miserable or a bit unhappy. Uh, it's a very serious, uh, it can be life-threatening condition, and probably what maybe quarter third of people and that will, will suffer from some form of depression in their lives at some point so it's it's a big uh, a, a major illness uh, what we know is that in people with depression the levels of serotonin are quite low now that's not to say that lack of serotonin causes depression it's just that there's some kind of link and we know that if we increase the amount of serotonin that um it can have a positive effect on lifting the depression. Now, unfortunately, you can't just give people serotonin. It, the drug doesn't get to the brain in that way. So what we use is a different technique. Now, normally what would happen is, as the impulse comes down, this neurotransmitter would be released from here. It would find its way to these receptors on the opposite side. Remember, these are called receptors. It would fit in there. It's got the specific shape. Once enough of them were filled up, the nerve impulse would start in this neuron and so we've passed the the nerve message on if you like now what we really need to do in the case of someone who's, who's got depression and has got low serotonin levels we need to try and keep as much of this serotonin in this synapse as possible because we're giving ourselves more of a chance to um, fill these receptor sites now what would normally happen is that the serotonin would be taken back up through these little channels here called reuptake channels uh, let's say what's a, there's a blue so reuptake channels they'd go back in and they'd be um, recycled and used again what drugs like Prozac do is they block off those channels so that the serotonin can't get back through and it leads to a build up of serotonin in here more chance of them landing these receptor sites and so we get more of these um, nerve impulses going on ecstasy works in pretty much the same way as far as we're concerned it, it is a bit more complex than this but we're going with um, what it says in the book for a moment ecstasy is the kind of common name for a chemical called MDMA which has been around for a long time has been used in treatment of, of various things now it might sound one of the things both of these things can do is increase feelings of happiness which of course is um, what, what we try to combat here with depression so it might sound like a good thing but there are uh, certainly side effects for some people with Prozac we can't always um, guarantee that it'll work um, and there's certainly side effects from ecstasy which can range from being quite mild um, to quite serious we're not really sure on the long-term effects of these things um, any any kind of drug that interferes at the synapse that changes what's happening here can potentially have side effects um, and although the, the long-term effects aren't, aren't always clear we, there's certainly some evidence that it, it's causing changes to the brain if you um, take any of these drugs for too long whether it's a, a prescribed one like Prozac or um, well you can be prescribed MDMA but a lot of people of course would, would use the illegal form ecstasy now one of the, the problems with the book um, is that it actually says in the book that ecstasy um, slows down the production of uh, ADH now actually it doesn't what it does is it increases ADH production and ADH is the hormone produced from your pituitary gland which stops you from peeing so on the effects of ecstasy you would produce less urine I'm not quite sure why it says that in the book but that's the the real answer um, and if you're producing less urine it means that you're holding that water in your body another effect from ecstasy is that you um, lose the ability really to recognize temperature control and um, temperature control is or the internal temperature of your body is detected in your hypothalamus and one of the effects of ecstasy is to kind of knock that out so people who are taking this and you know they're doing something like dancing they might be getting hotter they don't realize they're particularly getting hotter they might start drinking a lot of water to try and combat the sweating but of course because this um, ADH has been 
switched on more, they're not getting rid of that water. And one of the problems is your, your body basically gets too much water in it. It's not usually a problem because we would pee it out. But under the effects of ecstasy, you can build up the amount of water in your body to a dangerous level. And that's one of the big problems, really, um, that, that can, can potentially come from ecstasy. Just to mention as well, since it's one that's mentioned in the book, beta blockers, which are a drug that, um, again, can work at the synapse. What that can do is it can stop um, as many impulses coming out here and it's useful for the heart, what it does is it can slow your heart rate, heart rate down. So for people whose heart rate perhaps gets too much, taking these can slow it down. It can be used as an illegal drug by people who want to slow their heart rate down. So for example, people who do things like, um, in sports like darts or snooker, where you have to be very uh, calm and not giving the shakes because your heartbeat's going, um, they've been used as illegal drugs.